This is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither of these stories. So look, 25-year-old Christina Marie Curtis is now facing charges of neglect after four toddlers suffered broken legs on the same day. According to the reports, all four young boys were fined the morning of the incident. Later that day, they will have difficulty standing or walking. Christine denied knowing how the injuries occurred and believed that the injuries could have happened either at home or on the playground. Christina was booked into the county jail and posted a $4,000 bond and was out the next day. Next, we got 51-year-old Kimberly Boykins, who was charged Monday with felony negligence child abuse resulting in bodily injury. According to the arrest warrant, Boykins willfully twisted the femur of a six-month-old baby breaking the child's leg. Boykins is free on $50,000 bail. She have not yet entered a plea. I got one more. Kimberly High Knight accused of running an unlicensed home daycare for 23 children and having sexually abusive contact with several of them. The children ages range from seven months to five years old. According to the reports, Kim forced them to play using a tan and blue game board with pictures of private parts and a red spinner. And one of the mothers reportedly said, Your Honor, the sound of my autistic son and little girl being able to describe what that grown woman's vagina look like and feels like is something we regrettably will never be able to forget get and honestly something that I can never forgive prosecutors said high night sexually abused children over a period of more than seven years dating back to 2011 and after all of that said Kimberly high night 52 years old of Grove City was sentenced Monday to 30 days behind bars as part of a generous deal with prosecutors according to the Franklin County Clerk of Courts. Listen, I don't have to prove to anyone that the justice system is biased and extremely unfair. We all know that. These three women are predators and should be treated as such by the court system excusing their behavior. They're doing the public a huge disservice. Any bad behavior that goes unchecked will continue. These three women will be back in front of a judge, but the next time is going to be for taking a child's life. I don't suffer from selective outrage. I don't have picks and chooses on who I want to call out for their wrongdoing. And the justice system shouldn't either.